on St. Patty's Day has become like a big tradition, all right? So big that we throw like this big uh, beer drinking contest every year. Oh yeah. And uh, believe it or not, my grandmother has won this contest nine of the last 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> only losing last year to me. Yeah, she was fucking pissed. Yeah, she started throwing around garbage cans, flipping tables, started calling me names like a cheater and a dick fairy and stuff. I'm like, man. <laughs> But the whole time that she's doing it, though, she had, like, um, you know, beer foam around her mouth. And I'm like, Grandma, how can I take you serious? It looks like Grandpa just jizzed all over your face. <laughs> but, uh... Sorry. You're full on. <laughs> but, um... Hold on, I almost forgot my joke here. <laughs> but, um... Oh, hold on, I'll be looking at my cards, guys. Hold on. It's kind of the first time, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright All right, guys, listen, listen. You know how in every family though there's always that one crazy drunk person, right? Well in my family that just happens to be grandma. Alright, and when grandma gets out of control, she gets way out of control, okay? The last time she got out of control, she ended up having sex with all the Harlem Globetrotters last time they were in town. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you what, grandpa was not happy. Yeah, actually, uh, Grandpa's been racist ever since. Yeah, he's the only one that's got cable in the park, and we can no more watch, you know, NBA basketball, no more Snoop Dogg videos. Just a couple days ago, he kicks me out of his house for eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, I know, I was like, Grandpa, what the heck? It's not like you caught her banging Colonel Sanders. Right, right. But anyway, so I gotta go outside and eat my uh, chicken on the front porch, and, you know, that didn't last too long, because some, some Asian kid dressed like a rapper comes up to me with a gun, and robs me for my chicken. At least tries to. Um, it was just a good thing Grandpa was there, because he comes flying out of the door with a shotgun and is like, get the fuck out of here. Just because you're dressed like a rapper, don't mean you're gonna act like one. <laughs> Told you my grandpa was racist. <laughs> he was. But that's what you can always count on, though. Just crazy shit happened at the trailer park, you know? So, a couple years ago, Grandma got arrested for supplying minors with alcohol during one of the beer drinking contests. But that's only because all the other adults decided to puss out and didn't want to challenge her. But, hey guys, I would have challenged her, but I was in jail for a parking ticket. You guys believe that shit, a fucking parking ticket? <laughs> the way I see it, we could have free hot dog Fridays all over the county for the amount of money it costs to keep me in jail for three days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, anyway, story has it that his grandma was being taken to jail, she offered the cop a blowjob, right? <laughs> well, like a good cop, don't worry, like a good cop, he turned her down, okay? But yeah, yeah. somehow grandma was able to, like, jump the cuffs, pull out her false teeth, he asked him again. <laughs> Hey, cop or no cop, no man can resist a blowjob from a woman with no teeth, right? Right, right. Woo! Yeah. But, uh, what the kind of the dick move was is the cop made her walk home afterwards. I was like, man, nothing like being 78 years old and having to do a walk of shame. <laughs> but I really don't know how much of a walk of shame it was, because on the way home, Grandma made like 450 bucks. <laughs> yeah. She left her false teeth in the back seat of the car, and every time she smiled, every guy from here to Grand Blank was lined up to wait their turn. <laughs> and Grandma's motto, well, not motto, but what she liked to say was, uh, you know, she'll do anything for $45 and some mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, the trailer park was like the best place to have a drinking contest, because it was the only place minors could participate, all right? <laughs> my grandparents owned the park, and my grandma's straight up motto was, if you're old enough to uh, wipe your ass, you're old enough to have a beer. Yeah, most kids come back from their grandparents' house all wound up on sugar. I come back drunk, puking, shitting my pants, and I was only five years old. <laughs> I complained to my parents, I really did, but they just be like, shut the fuck up. Just be thankful you get to spend time with the old bitch. And I'm like, whoa, hey, hey. It's not that I don't mind hanging out with grandma. It's just that at this rate, my liver's gonna kick out before I have a chance to find out what a vagina is, you know? <laughs> That's my grandma, though, just always saying crazy shit when she gets drunk. And uh, the last time her and grandpa were arguing on the front porch, she just blurts out, That's why I had seven abortions! <laughs> <laughs> Holy 
Holy shit, grandma's pro-choice. <laughs> well, hey, guys, to me, up until this point, I found that kind of funny because, you know, besides the heavy drinking, I just thought my grandma was the type to wear a white dress to church on Sunday, not to be the type to be like, fuck condoms, I'll just use a coat hanger. Oh. <laughs> yeah.